Hey there, this is Kosho619. This is video two of the Icon 2 slash Brain 2 setup. I uh, had, a, had a guy ask me about it, so here you go. This is the video two. We're going to go into the advanced menu. Um, we've already gone through the whole entire wizard process, basically picking what we're going to use, the type of servos, the endpoints, um, all that basically, the servos, cyclic, rescue if you're going to use it, uh, governor and we've checked to see which way the, the the helicopter is moving and um, turn that down a little and essentially um, we're gonna go now that we're at the end here like we were on the last video we're gonna click on advanced menu here and I'm gonna kind of go through basically um, what you see some of the stuff I, I don't even know what it does like you know you can pick up the receiver here I think this has something to do with your telemetry that I don't use so I wouldn't know um, the orientations it says the top wires front servos CCPM there's there's all kinds of things that change here this is not one of the menus that I use rescue function I don't use um, throttle and governor though I do so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at throttle and governor and basically what this stuff does so here's my endpoints again which were on that first menu you saw in video one and two I mean in video one um, 1100 uh, uh, for the low and 1940 for the high we've got my gear ratio here tail gear ratio telemetry um, if I had telemetry I could tell that the milliamps of the battery there's my head speeds now we start getting into um, the advanced menu of the governor gain if, if you didn't like the way the governor was working or you wanted a little more you can see mine's 51 here it, was, it started at 50 it's just a little more than stock to get my TikToks really crisp um, you can change the gain in the in the um, throttle and governor. I wouldn't recommend doing any of that. It works really good. I, I've, I've talked to my friend Alex too, and he basically helped set up this firmware, and, and all the default settings seem to be really good. So um, the one I, that I do mess with is this dead zone here. Um, I got my, my cursor on it. And dead zone basically is when you're setting up your governor and you feel as though you have uh, a lag from the bottom to about uh, just below center stick and it's, it's not starting up um, immediately um, you can you can bump your dead zone up so my number here on dead zone is 40 and um, that's basically the only thing that I've changed if you were going to use bailout you can do this timeout ramp here I've got 50 seconds if you're going to do a big long auto rotation and you are using bailout which I don't um, basically you've got 50 seconds to, to auto and to bail out which would mean that the the speed the speed control would would initialize rapidly and and you would have immediate throttle um, I don't do that just because of safety so there's one of your pages on um, essentially on your um, governor page so set up here's input um, Again, you know, these are all default settings on mine, but you can see that it does change with my bank settings So you can change the way your governor feels essentially too here and um, What else? Let's go to cyclic um, On this one is where I play um, to set up my bank switching which is you know low bank medium high bank um, basically set up one here I've got 420 on the rotational speed and 420 on the on the elevator speed so there's aileron and there's elevator um, you basically got three different setups so um, wow look at that my helicopter here has got all the same roll rate right now so let's go ahead and change it for you I didn't mean to do that in the beginning here so we're gonna bump this 420 up here we'll go to let's make them feel different go to 430 you can even just um, take the number here and punch it in so 430 we're just making this roll rate a little faster as I go up in the stick here so middle rate now is 420 or not I mean 430 <laughs> 430 enter and then we're gonna make this one over here let's go 440 So we're basically just changing the feel of the helicopter a little bit, the roll rate, and you can change the agility in one of the other screens. So basically that's that. Um, and uh, let's see here, on the input, 
I basically um, this the default expo is at 20 um, I like a little more expo so I made mine negative 25 uh, yes it is a negative number don't fool it with spectrum this is an icon so they use negative numbers basically to to, to desensitize center stick so um, I've got them all the same 25 on everything and uh, that that's what I do so I don't I don't change anything else um, another thing that's kind of cool here is you can see that this gyro basically and my goblin and this helicopter combined have seven hours and 38 minutes on them and uh, that's that's kind of cool just to, to keep track of how many hours your helicopter actually has on it and that's actually quite a bit at four minutes of flight so we've been flying a lot um, there's a diagnostic page and uh, I don't know how to do it again um, this is basically logging and things like that that techie people would use I don't care I just put my hand on the um, basically on the on the motor and see if it's hot or not <laughs> it's basically all I do so what I like to do is keep it simple I'm a racer at heart I race cars our cars have one switch to turn it on and off some guys have 50 switches to turn their cars on and off and they can't decide which switch is not letting their car start so me real simple one switch on and off um, you know hold mode non hold mode I got stunt one stunt two and that's basically how I do it so main main concern on there is just to see if if you're uh, if you got a hundred percent deflection and to adjust your servo endpoints that's basically the legist of this gyro so going from there it's about all you guys need to know when I go out of this I basically go back to the wizard menu and I hit close first and then unplug it because it takes a minute to shut down and then unplug your gyro and you're good to go so hope you like that that's all there is to it on the icon too thank you